President's Message Charles Thomas Casey Wire Magazine For years there have been some increasing numbers of suggestions for ARE to consolidate some of your separate announcements and publications into a magazine format. Surveys of the members, as well as suggestions by individual members and staff publishing consultants, led to a move in this direction. Our purpose with the magazine is to make your experience as a member a more satisfying one. On alternate months, beginning this month, Venture Inward will replace and incorporate into its contents the ARE Journal, ARE News and other items of the membership packet for that month. The primary purpose of the ARE News was community building, getting to know each other, through an information exchange between members and between ARE headquarters and members. The purpose of the ARE Journal was to provide members a forum for sharing results of their applying concepts from the Edgar Casey readings. In perspective we keep you up to date with new developments in PSI research, particularly as it relates to concepts in the readings. Information for parents, teachers and children, announcements of new books and tapes, courses, and conferences available through ARE will also be included in your new magazine as well as more in-depth articles in a most convenient format. We hope you will be proud to have Venture Inward on your reading table and to share it with friends. We hope the magazine will make such sharing easier. Libraries will also be able to carry the magazine, but it is primarily designed for you, the AIE member. Please give us your reaction and suggestions. The ARE staff continuously re-examines the mission and purposes of this work and tries to measure how well we're doing. Each year it is dearer to me that our purpose, presumptuous as it may seem, is to be a catalyst for life transformation. This may begin with your applying a bit of health information or any of thousands of other suggestions from the readings. Members share this process eloquently. Here is an example from my Daily Mail. You can probably see all the holes in my understanding and how electrified I was when I stumbled onto a copy of Jess Stern's A Prophet in His Own Country at a time I badly needed to have those holes filled in. Born and reared in Maine, I identified with the young Edgar Casey's rural upbringing, his sense of security in family and community, and with his contemplative nature and sense of God in everything around him. That he should seek guidance and answers to life's mysteries was something I well understood. But the answers he got jolted me. I had investigated astrology, auras, meditation, imaging, chanting, you name it, but I always felt that I had to apologize for going outside theology and that someday I would pay dearly for such monstrous apostasy. And here Casey was saying that these things were good to study in one's search for God and that it all connected. I couldn't have been more delighted and relieved. I joined AIE, certain that the answer to every question I had would be found here. It hasn't quite turned out that way, but I'm not sorry. As I got answers to many of my questions, many more questions were raised. I cannot read everything you send me, I'm too occupied trying to apply what I've already learned. The twofold message I've got out of the Casey material is, do what you know to do, and don't be afraid to try, you don't have to do it all at once here a little, there a little. And if you fail, you can try again. The try is oft counted as righteousness. Not did you fall, but did you seek his face again? I seem to have failed in a lot of things I've tried. Well, now I don't feel so awful about it, so guilty. When I'm tempted to slip back into feelings of self-condemnation, I am cheered to know that you are there to remind me once again of what really counts. You have shown me a face of God I had never seen before. You have taught me things about myself I would not have dared think possible. You have given me an enormous responsibility. But one I willingly undertake, because now I'm not so empty and alone anymore. I think that is what my inner prompting was saying when I made the rash decision to become a life member stay with these people. You may not always understand or agree with everything they say or do, but they will tell you things you need to hear for the rest of your life. 
Our aim with the magazine is to enhance this process for all of us. Publications pass another milestone. In 1929, Tom Sugru, Edgar Cayce's biographer, began a proud tradition of publications with the first issue of The New Tomorrow, the official publication of the Association of National Investigators. The association lasted only a few years, 1927 to 1931, and The New Tomorrow only two issues, but the work had begun in earnest. Soon there was to be the Association for Research and Enlightenment and a new series of publications for a membership that was small but fiercely dedicated to the spiritual principles coming through the man Edgar Cayce. Today, 1984, the ARE is publishing a new magazine, Venture Inwood, for a membership of over 40,000 seekers after the same principles, the same healing information that brought together the original members of the association. In the years between these two magazines, the association often struggled to provide proper publications for those who wanted or needed the Casey material. In 1932, Hugh Lynn Casey, fresh from his job as librarian for Atlantic University, a recent victim of the Depression, started a monthly bulletin for members. Using a second-hand mimeograph, he compiled extracts from interesting readings, wrote articles and reviews of books on psychic subjects, and gave health hints from the readings. The bulletin was to endure in various forms for over 30 years until 1966 when it was replaced by the AIE News. During the first 10 years of the bulletin, many of the main features were written by Hugh Lin with help from Gladys Davis, Tom Sugru, or the many others who kept the work alive in those days. After Hugh Lin went into the army, it fell to those at home to continue the bulletin, and Harmon Bro was one who helped maintain the publication's program through the final year that Edgar Cayce gave readings. After Edgar Cayce's death, it was Gladys Davis' diary letter that kept members in touch with the readings and events at Virginia Beach. Gina Sermonara and Hugh Lynn wrote many bulletin articles during 1946 and 1947. Then in 1949 Tom Sugru started The Searchlight, which was to continue through 1965. The Searchlight was published semi-monthly in the beginning, and the bulletin was dropped. Each issue was primarily focused on one subject an essay on reincarnation, a dream discussion, a report on psychic research, a treatise on the Kabbalah, and the list of authors read like a who's who in AIE. By the mid-50s The Searchlight was published on a monthly basis and reprints of earlier issues were regularly kept in print. In 1958 the bulletin was resurrected in a new format, consolidating many small items being sent to the members into one package produced a newsletter that would eventually become the AIE News. Articles about events at headquarters and profiles of members and speakers were part of the new format. The year 1966 marked major changes in AIE publications. The bulletin became the AIE News and gained a new logo and graphics while retaining much of the special mix of stories on people and programs at headquarters and around the country. Olive Landers, who had been the editor of the bulletin, continued as editor of the news. The searchlight was discontinued and the AIE journal replaced it on a quarterly basis. Using similar articles in a lengthier format, the journal included some of the longer features from the bulletin as well. Violet Shelley became editor of the journal. After a couple of years it became a bi-monthly publication. It lasted 18 years until replaced by the magazine. Venture Inward has consolidated elements of the ARE journal, the ARE news and other monthly items into a distinct new package which carries on the tradition begun years ago by Tom Sugru. From the new tomorrow to venture inward, the Casey work continues.